I believe so. Why is it called Sawa? Thank, uh, thank you for coming to Abakabete, uh, College of Agriculture and Federal Sciences, University of Nairobi. My name is Dr. Moses Yangito. I'm the Strategic Management Unit uh, Manager, Stroke Warden for Abakabete Campus, under the Student Welfare Management Authority of the University of Nairobi. In this uh, unit, our main purpose or objective is to provide quality catering and accommodation services to students who are in the University of Nairobi and to other clients who are interested in using the facilities in the University of Nairobi. In terms of uh, accommodation services, we have six hostels with a capacity of about 1,200 uh, bed space. And uh, this bed space is spread in six halls. We have the Tana Complex, Wakulima, Mugabe, Soweto, Mandera, where we are currently seated with you. And, uh, and, uh, and Soweto. Now, our key purpose here is to ensure that our visitors and our students get quality accommodation services. And we have achieved this by implementing key strategic objectives in this area. One is to maintain and improve the horse management information system, where we are able to tell who is staying where and for what period. And whenever they move out, then we are able to bring in, in other clients. In the same respect, we try to ensure the highest quality uh, accommodation services in terms of cleanliness, in terms of customer service at our receptions. We do have custodians who take care of, who take care of our clients both at night and during the day. We do have horse officers in charge to ensure that every hall is properly maintained to the highest standards. Definitely, the pet space we have is not adequate. We look forward to partner with, other, with the private sector to expand the uh, accommodation services. But for now, all I can say is that we do have what I would consider enough for those students who need urgent accommodation services in the hostels, and we are able to accommodate them. And for other people in the community, you know, scholars who want to come for workshops, those who want to organize various events, we can be able to offer them accommodation services when we are off season. That's when we, we don't have many stu students. Like now, a majority of the students are outside. They are at home. We do have some students on board. We have space. If anybody is interested to have a workshop and stay on university, because we have conference facilities as well, they, can, they, are, they are welcome. In terms of catering services, we do also have key strategic objectives in that area. The first one being to implement a catering management information system, which, will, which allows us to know the requirements of our clients, which also allows us to communicate what we are able to offer in terms of catering. We, do, we have a catering facility in the Tana complex where we have our main kitchen. We have trained cateresses. We have trained cooks. And we have trained support staff in that area. We, and our pricing for the meals we offer, they are extremely competitive. In fact, if you check, we could be slightly below the market rates. And that should be an incentive for those who want to do conferences, for those who want to have workshops, for those who want to host other events, even people sometimes who want to have wedding, right? 
they can come during weekends and we can accommodate them and we can provide them catering services. In the catering unit, we have obviously good equipment, state-of-the-art equipment to support those services. So there's no doubt we can be able to provide quality services which will meet our clients' expectations. Uh, then the other thing I will need to mention, the SWA unit up here in Apacapete, in terms of catering and accommodation services, is pack stopped. By pack, stock, by pack stopping, I mean we do get other support from the other SWA units in the University of Nairobi. We have a lovely 12 other SWA units. So, if for some reason, for example in catering, if for some reason we have many visitors who want to use our services, and we have one or two equipment or service we want to, to assess, that is already available within the university-wide catering services. Even for halls, that's hostels, if we have a major event, we are able to take our visitors to stay in another uh, management unit where we have hostels, okay? So long as the students are not on what? On board? On board. So we have that flexibility. And this, I think, makes us uh, to be an ideal institution in providing these services. Uh, with those remarks, I will definitely request the students of the University of Nairobi at all times to first and foremost apply for our accommodation services because they know we have some space which we can accommodate them. Secondly, for, for visitors, whenever we are off season, we are ready to provide you these services anytime, any minute, because we have the staff, we have the equipment, the equipment and the facilities are available. Let me also mention this. At college level, the SWA unit is highly supported by the college principal, our able college principal. And we are able to assess any facilities within the college for purposes of supporting SWA activities. Beyond that, the entire university management, starting from the first chancellor's office through the David first chancellor in charge of student affairs, we are able to meet our requirements as required. And we also have a very able director, the director for SWA, who is at hand any time to support our activities. Therefore, students and our visitors who want to use our facilities, there's no doubt that you're in the right place. You can even see we stay in a very serene environment. This is Mandela Hostel, beautiful background, nice lounge, nice flowers. Welcome to use our facilities whenever you needed them. Thank you.